We are live, the stream is starting. It's been a little while since the last YouTube live stream. About five weeks or so, I think, since we uh, worked on that track, that music track, we did some composing. It's been even longer since we worked on the pickaxe. But yeah, everything's looking okay my end, so I hope everything is okay your end and that you can hear me okay and see me okay. So let me know uh, if everything is okay. Anyway, good to see you. I hope you have had a good day so far and a good week so far. I have had a good, I have had a good few days and I'm looking forward to the rest of the week. But yeah, it's been fun. And uh, yeah, the last time you would have seen this on a live stream, it would have been in its little layers. Because I've now um, glued all the layers together to make it a bit more pickaxe-y. So this is what it looks like now. My favourite bit is the top bit where I've got the little bolts. Because I think that actually looks relatively nice. I think it looks okay. So yeah, that's what the pickaxe looks like. From what you can see, I'm going to be painting it uh, today. So that's what I'm going to be up to in this live stream, hopefully. I've never tried painting in a live stream before, so I'm slightly concerned it will be a bit messy, but I have kitchen roll and I have newspaper down, <laughs> including on the floor, so if you're worried about this specifically and paint, uh, I do have newspaper on the floor, so um, yeah just in case anybody is anxious about me making a bit of a mess. Hi Green Machine, good to see you. I hope you've had a good a good week so far. Hi Carolyn. So glad I caught this chat because I've missed the last two last few. Yes, it's good to see you. Good good timing. It's uh yeah, it's cool. It's cool. And the pickaxe looks great so far. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see whether I make it look better or worse at the end of uh, tonight. I'm, I assume I'm only going to be able to do like this side and then leave it to dry and then I'll have to do the other side at a later date. Decent week so far. Good. Good. Me too. Me too. <sighs> Cure. Also, don't forget to put on live chat instead of top chat um, if you have that option available to you because we've had that problem before, haven't we? So just just to let you know that YouTube automatically puts you on top chat, but live chat is probably better for us. So I have a paint palette, my favorite paint palette. I have a spare bit of uh, craft foam to test the paint on to check that the colors are okay before I start painting the actual pickaxe. I have some water and I have this cup to put um, paintbrushes in, which you may or may not recognise. Mine says top chat, how do I switch? There should be a little drop down arrow next to it. I'm not sure what it will look like on your end. See the triangle next to it, yeah, you go. Green, green machine is a better person um, than me to be helpful. Got it, yay. Yeah, I can see some uses for top chat, but for, for our purposes, I feel like live chat is definitely uh, better, more useful. But yeah, I have, this is like all of the painting stuff that I own um, in here. So I have this, which I have never used, as you might be able to tell. And then I have all of my paints and all of my paintbrushes. And I also have a black and a silver because the pickaxe is, yeah, top chat is for huge chats, as in not not really for, <laughs> not really for us. Hi Phil, good to see you. Ah, I hope you've had a good week as well, and I hope you've had a good week as well, Carolyn. Um. But yeah, so the, the pickaxe, the four colours that I can see are uh, silver, red, black, and a very small amount of grey. So I have silver and black as these big paints, and then I'm just going to get a white and a red, some sort of red here. Um, and then 
get started. Our ch hat chat is pretty huge, but in a different way. Exactly, exactly. It's not the number, it's the quality. It's the quality. Right, let me see if I have loads of different reds and it's sort of like a maroony. I'm sort of looking for this sort of colour, really. It would be nice not to have to mix it because it's sort of like the main body. I'm going to find a red. It's a great looking paint set. Thank you. Uh, you know how you get like 10 of these sorts of paints in a set? This is quite a few of those. And then also similarly quite a lot of different sets of paint brushes. For instance, I've had this set since I was like five. And this, like, this set, this purple one I got for Christmas. And then there's a few other random ones. Like there's some long... Nope, that's not them. Some really long uh, wooden paint brushes, which were another set. Yet another set. Oh, crumbs. The chat has got huge while I've been looking away. Great, Caroline. I'm glad you have as well. I'm glad you have as well. Thank you. The I'm I'm glad you like the paint. I'm glad you like the paint set. Uh, the box used to be my dad's and some of the paints, and I have just every time I get some paint or paint brushes, they go in here. And I also have some like palette knives as well, which I have never done anything with. Right, so I need a red. There's a crimson. That brown's been used a lot. I'm just going to take a couple out and then just try it and see. Do you actually paint pictures too? I can't really draw so and I can't really paint. I mainly just use the paints for um, <laughs> cosplay. Which uh, a lot of these aren't, you know, open or just... I just pick certain colours that I need at a time. Uh, right. Let's try these two reds. Hopefully one of those will work and I'll need to find a white as well. And a grey. No, I'll just need a white. It's difficult to find a white because the whites are the ones that don't have a colour on them. Oh, there we go. I found a white. I hope everything's okay with the sound. I didn't use my microphone because I'm going to be putting stuff on the table and it's it sounds like... Um, Terrible, terrible things are happening <laughs> when, when I use a, um, oh, I need the paintbrushes as well. When I have the microphone out and I'm also using the table. So, sounds good, fantastic. They're cos paints, exactly, they're cos paints and cos brushes. So I'm going to use a big brush for like not detail. And um, maybe I'll use this one. This is like the oldest paintbrush I have. It's early learning center. Not sure if you can see that, but it's early learning center. I tried copying Bob, Ron Bob Ross once and my effort looked like my cat had thrown up on the page. Don't know how he did it. He threw pages together. Yeah, I used to watch like Smart and Art Attack, but I don't know, it's, uh, I'm not very artistic in that way. I'm more of a builder than a, um, what would you call it, like a painter or drawer. I want to make use of some of these new paintbrushes I've got. Like I've got this little tiny, teeny tiny one which could be good for detail. I'm going to keep it out. And then there's this one with a really, really long brush. Like, what would I use that for? I'm with you, Phil. I'm, my terrible dexterity does not allow for good painting or drawing. I think, yes, I, I, am, I am joining the group of um, low dexterity or not, not best at painting or drawing. So I am... It's perfect that I am painting in this live stream. Oh, no, I can't get the... Um, do I need to get this back on? Do I need to? Is it necessary? No, it is not. I'll just leave it in the vein. Right. Three paint brushes. Should probably find another couple more. I have this type. 
some of that type. I'm not sure I'm going to need that type. We will at some point actually paint, but for now we get this. <laughs> I gave up drawing when I was a kid. I used the eraser so much I put holes in the paper. I can paint a door, but that's about it. Yeah, I'm much more of a door painter than a portrait painter. My dad can paint, ergo the uh, set of stuff that I have acquired from him, but uh, it skipped a generation. Oh, this is nice. It's got a nice angled edge. I'm having that one as well. I have helped paint room walls before, but that's all. Yep. Me too. That's much more my speed. Right, let's see how this does us. Now I've just got to shut this somehow and put it away. Right, now we get the actual pickaxe. So I'm going to go from light to dark. Um, partly because it will probably look neater in the end and partly because I'm not going to be able to change the water so I don't want to end up with like muddy, murky water. Does your dad still paint? Does he have another set of paints? Yeah, he does. Yeah, he has. Uh, other, which is how I have got these ones. Um, so this cup for the paint brushes. A little precarious maybe. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. So I'm going to start with silver and do, oh I should show you what I'm doing. So the bits that need to be silver I've got a picture uh, just over here, if you're wondering where I'm looking. So this bit has to be silver, including this bit here. The bolts need to be silver. This bit needs to be silver, but not this bit under. And then there's a little dot in here which has to be silver. And then this thing at the bottom has to be silver. So I'm going to just start and we'll see how it goes. I shall learn a lot today, I have my notepad with me. I am not the person for the, for the um, painting advice, but we will see. Hobby craft art. I can't remember what I got this for. I might have got this... All of these paints I got for specific projects, and some of them I have had since like GCSE art. But some of them I got for um, dragon eggs because I needed very specific, like, um, pearly sort of colours, which I think is what the silver might be for. But let's see what it looks like and if I have actually used it before. Ooh, pretty. Pretty. It will be fine, thank you. Pretty silver paint. Right, let's test it. Let's test the paint. Hmm. It's not got much colour to it, but it's got a lot of sheen. Might have to do a few coats of that. You can sort of see it from the side. When it catches the light, it's really good. See, the thing with this is, this is kind of like the base coat, and then I'm going to see afterwards whether I need to spray paint it, because I have black and silver spray paint, so I might spray paint it afterwards, but there's no point doing it first, because there's so many little intricate bits that spray painting won't get enough coverage, so I'm painting it in the right colours first, just because then I can get all the little nooks and crannies, but uh, then I might be spray painting it, or if I see how it looks I might just do more coats of paint and then sort of weather it with like blacks and browns. So that's probably sort of the general thing that I'm going for. Uh, so it's just like seeing how we go, really and see what it looks like when it's painted. Because ideally spray paint would be better because then you don't have like the brush strokes and stuff. But then also with my Ray staff I had to pre-paint uh, the little intricate bits first black because otherwise when I spray painted it I'd have had to do like so many coats to get the coverage and it would have ended up a bit blotchy. So um, is the real act supposed to be steel? It looks kind of like it's supposed to be steel, steel and like shiny. 
but then I've got several pictures here. Some of it is where the axe is looking new and some of it is where it's like real weathered and stuff. And I think I'm going for the more weathered type where it looks really like rusty and yucky. And it's also got little like bandages around the handle. But I guess so. Right, let's just see how this goes. Yeah, the Lara just climbed out of a tomb look. Yeah, exactly. Because um, I'm the outfit that I'm making is more of the, more like later on in the game. So I feel like the axe should look not like it's brand new. So that's the thought. This silver is not as good as silver paints I've had before. Like the white is like going through real, uh, really easily. But. I don't know, we'll see. We will see. The brush strokes aren't showing though, which is good. Good plan. Yay. <laughs> I really would like to get another webcam so that I can have a better angle on this because I have no choice of angles because it's just like my little map webcam. Maybe if at some point I can get a second webcam I can have like two shots. Can you even see the colour? I don't think you can even see it. It looks more silvery here but it's still doesn't look very silvery. Oh well, the black. I'll be able to see the black. <laughs> Two shots would be very flash, yeah. Like you could have a top-down angle or something, it would all be very exciting. already making a bit of a mess so I'm glad I'm going from lighter colour to darker colour just got this top bit now looks like this might need yeah multiple coats or maybe even the, the silver spray paint but we'll see we'll see I know, like, I can show it to you at this point. In a few minutes, I'm not going to be able to show it to you, but that's what it looks like at the minute. So it actually doesn't look that bad, actually, when you're comparing it to the white. But that's what it looks like at the minute. Bit of a shine, but I'll, I think definitely more coats will be needed. More coats. A bit more silver, and then we'll hopefully move on to paint. You can actually see when I'm doing it. The paint will make it more sturdy. Yes, exactly. That's what I've, I've been looking forward to, the painting, just because with my with the Ray staff, um, it suddenly went from feeling like it was made of craft foam, which it was, to feeling like it was actually, I mean, if not metal, it looked like, it felt like plastic or something. Ooh, I've switched to my laptop for a better picture, looks cool, yay! Right, so now I'm going to do this bit here. See how we go. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to do, do more than one coat of the silver because I can see through the the biro drawing, um, you know, from me uh, cutting out the craft foam. So definitely more coats of the silver required. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes.
looking at lots of images of lava pickaxes. If you are on Google Images of Tomb Raider pickaxe, then you are looking at exactly the same page that I am. <laughs> um, right, I'm going to do these little cog bits now. Maybe I should have a different paintbrush. Let us see. Maybe I'll use a... Is it blood red? Yeah, kind of blood red. Some of them are kind of, um, they look very bright red, um, more like a, well, more like that. Uh, the one I'm looking at is a very shiny, sort of darker red, so maybe more blood red, yeah. It's a pity I can't put this on the screen, but it might, um, copyright. <laughs> feel like that's a good shout of what she uses for. Yes, it's far more practical, isn't it? I'm kind of just going for this sort of colour. Or like this sort of colour. But we'll see. <laughs> By the time I actually come to painting the red, it might uh, not look like that at all. Right, let's have this little brush. Let's see what this little brush will do. these little uh, bolts. I am not a very tidy painter. I cannot stay within the lines. Another reason for light to dark. Well, we have one bolt. One of three. Some people dressed as her wielding it. It looks really good. Yeah, there are some fantastic Lara Croft cosplays. I'm looking forward to the new game. I wonder what uh, her like main costume will look like in the game. Oh, speaking of Tomb Raider, I finished. I I finished the game. I got back to uh, where we where the uh, game crashed. So we're going to be streaming it again soon. Mouse, does your shirt say "A dream is a wish your heart makes"? This is my favorite Cinderella quote. Yes, it does. A dream is a wish your heart makes, and it's got the little shoe at the edge. Um. Yes, it's one of my favorite quotes as well. Although my favorite is "Have courage and be kind." Um. Back when my little whiteboard used to be visible, it used to be one of the main quotes that I would have on it. But uh, they didn't have a t-shirt with that on. But this is one of my other favourite quotes. And I, every time I wear this um, t-shirt, by the end of the day, I'm always singing the song. But yes, I do like Cinderella. It is a really nice quote. It is a really nice quote. The... Uh, the new adaptation of Cinderella, the live action adaptation with Lily James, I love it so much. I love it so much. And I've only seen the original a couple of times. I really should watch it again. Right, one more bolt. Yes, this may be Disney blaspheming, but I don't like the cartoon much and love the new 2015 film. Yes, it's, um, I agree, actually, I do agree. Of course, it would be nice if the, the, it was, I do love a musical, so I guess we lose the musical aspect a bit in the live action film, but I love it so much, I just love the tone. And it seems a lot more modern, I guess. I've only seen the cartoon version, but that was years ago. Well, I recommend watching the um, live action film at some point. It's been on TV a couple of times, so I'm sure it'll be on again soon. And you can see it if you wish to. But I really recommend it. Yeah, if you want to see the live action one. I agree with Carolyn. Whoops, I'm like putting my finger right on the bolt that I've just done because... I know what I'm doing. I 
feel like one of my biggest problems with live streaming painting is going to be if I get my hands really painty and then like touch my computer mouse. I feel like that's like the biggest uh, hurdle which I need to overcome. No, you didn't distract at all, I'm just incapable of like painting <laughs> without making a mess. Yeah, I agree about it being more modern, which I like. Yeah, it's definitely more um, in tone and just in style and in the character, I think, as well. No singing in it. Uh, just in the end credits, Lily James sings this song in the end credits and then um, Helena Bonham Carter as the fairy godmother sings Bippity Boppity Boo. So wait till the end of the end credits if you want to uh, hear some songs. But apart from that, no singing. <laughs> Our job is to distract mouse as much as possible. Okay. Just like a normal live stream. Do you feel it should have some songs in it? I mean, I love, I love it so much as it is. I mean, I love a musical, but I feel like it works as it is and with the cast that it has. And I don't know. Like, I don't like the live-action Beauty and the Beast as much as the original uh, animation. And that was one which kept the songs, so if we're going by that comparison, then I feel like Cinderella did maybe made the better choices. You could cover the keyboard. I could. It's quite far away, so they, they will only be a problem if I decide, if I forget that my hands are painty. Because... Uh, because this is like a separate table that I have here and then here is where the computer is. So the only problem will come if I just get my hands painty and then don't let them dry before I... She also sings Lavender's Blue which is gorgeous. Oh, where's that bit? Wrap it in plastic food wrap stuff, yeah. It should be okay. It's not skyty paint so I should be fine. But now I think I'm probably going to have to turn this round because I need to do this bit. Hmm. A delicate operation, but not an impossible one. There we go. There we go. You have to end the chat with painty hands, yep. Just like paint everywhere. Crumbs, it's already like halfway through. <laughs> it's already half seven. How did half seven happen? I want to use this paintbrush. That's the paintbrush I was using before. Which I just put my finger on. Next it will be red. Red will be easier. I always have too much, end up with too much paint. Like I thought this, maybe I'd have to get more paint out of the tube, but no, I've, I'm not going to use it up. I always end up with too much paint. Wasting paint. Well, I think this hole needs to be silver. Beautiful. And that hole needs to be silver, but that paintbrush was definitely too big. Oh, I found myself watching a lot of Bollywood films on Netflix. I'm kind of in a musical mood with movies. Oh, cool. My top Disney films are Animated Beauty and the Beast, Live Action Cinderella, Live Action Beauty and the Beast, Tangled, and Lion King. Oh, awesome. Mine of, of, uh, what would mine be? I would definitely put Animated Beauty and the Beast, Live Action Cinderella, Lion King and Tangled in there. I love Tangled so much and Lion King. What else would I put in my list? Um, guess the Jungle Book. The animation. I love the fact the whole street gets involved in the songs. Yeah, that's always, that's always cool. 
She sings it when she cleans and towards the end when the mice open a window. Ah, okay, I know, I know. I get it. Fantasia I really like. I think you did spell Fantasia right. I haven't seen Fantasia. Problem is the only Disney films I've really seen are ones that I've bought and I tend not to um then they never tend to be on sale, so I end up with just like holes in my Disney knowledge. Mice opening the window reminded me of that. Oh, cool. Right, I'm gonna do this little hole here. Hope for the best. Yeah, okay. I think that was the right paintbrush. <laughs> Fantasia put me to sleep. I can't comment on whether it would put me to sleep or not because I have never seen it, but I've heard good things. I'm trying to think if there's any other Disney films that I would recommend or put on my list. I really want to see Moana. That's the one I want to see. Yeah, that is how I am with Marvel, though. I did just buy Black Panther. Oh, Black Panther is awesome. I need to buy that. Yeah, I got out of touch with Marvel and then just caught up because I wanted to see Black Panther. And now I'm up to date again. Meaning holes in my Marvel knowledge, yeah. Yeah, I had big holes in my Marvel knowledge until Black Panther, like, spurred me to get up to date. Yeah, you should definitely see Black Panther, Phil. I recommend it a whole lot. It's one of my favourite uh, Marvel films. Moana was cute. Oh, I really want to see it. I really want to see it. Right, have I missed any silver? I don't think I have. I think I've got all the silver. Let's move to red. Let's see what... I have a crimson and I have a... one of these paints that doesn't have a colour. Let's try the one of these paints that doesn't have a colour. Th uh, Black Panther is my favourite so far, Thor 3 being second. Yeah, Fag uh, Fagnarok. I am amalgamating um, my Thor film titles. Uh, yeah, Thor Ragnarok is probably one of my favourite Marvel films, definitely, and Black Panther. Uh, and I'm trying to think what others that I have really loved. I really... I surprised myself by how much I loved the new Tom Holland Spider-Man. I just felt it seemed really um, true to the character, more so than all other Spider-Mans, but then, I don't know. This colour is promising. Oh, you can't even see it. Perfect. That colour. <laughs> I should probably turn this over again. Let's turn this over again because the red is mainly this end. Now I have to work out how to... There we go. There we go. We did it. We did it. I only have a little bit of silver. New Spider-Man's not nerdy enough but he's a good kid. Mm. Yeah, I am. Um, somebody in comments said a similar thing, actually. Um, yeah, you're not nerdy enough, not as nerdy as, say, um, Tobey Maguire's. But I just really loved the, um, the tone, I guess. Yeah, I really I recommend the new Spider-Man. I haven't seen... I've only seen one of the Andrew Garfield ones. I didn't see the second one. But I've seen all the Tobey Maguire ones and the Tom Holland one, and I really liked it. Yeah, Spider-Man really should be nerdy. Right, let's try this red and test it out. Kind of. Might need a few coats, but... Might need to be quite a thick coat as well. But... 
I think that's a good starting point for a base coat. Uh, I definitely like Spider-Man Homecoming better than the original trilogy, but I need to see the Amazing Spider-Man films again to know if I like Homecoming better. The first Andrew Garfield one was great, the second was meh. Yeah, the second one's the only Spider-Man film I haven't seen. Thinking, <laughs> I think I'm getting all my Spider-Man confused. I still think the new one's the better of the three, second was the worst. I would put them in that order too. I would put Tom Holland, Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man's in that order, Spider-Man's. That doesn't sound right. Never mind. Yes, you're getting your own list of recommendations here now. Yep. How the tables have turned. Mmm, <laughs> swimming here. Right, let's do some red. I'm going to start in the middle so that I meet the silver as late as possible because it's wet. Let's see how we go. I might be using too small a paintbrush for this, but it will there'll be less strokes in it. Um Yeah, Spider-Man would be pretty slow moving around outside of City really. I think I saw a gif on Tumblr once where it was Spider-Man trying to get around in the countryside and he just like fell. So there was nowhere for the web to go, so we just fell. And you see that bit in home a bit in homecoming. <laughs> I have already got red over the silver. I cannot paint neatly. Lucky this is a um, base coat. Looks about right on camera. Looks about right. He'd do okay in a forest, yes. Be like, um... Uh, what's that anime? I've forgotten. Uh, Attack on Titan. <laughs> He's in the middle of the field or something and is like, where do I aim my web shooter? I did, yeah, I think that was a really good film. I enjoyed it a lot. I'm looking forward to the sequel. Oh, I need more paint after all of me going on about having too much silver. Now I don't have enough red. Oh no, getting a loading problem here. I have a swirly circle on me. Oh dear. That's always annoying. Oh no. I hope I return soon, although I guess uh, chat is okay though. Oh no, Green Machine, you had that for a few seconds as well. Oh dear. I guess that's not something that I can do anything about my end, which is frustrating. No, don't apologise for all the film stuff. It is also one of my favourite topics. I'm always happy to talk about films, even when it's uh, films that I haven't seen or like massive holes in my knowledge. I'm always happy to talk about films.
wonder if I can finish the vet by the end of this live stream. Oh, he turned me off and on again. Cool. I'm back. Yes, yeah, a good refresh. Actually, YouTube was being really slow for me earlier before I, um, when I was testing out the live stream. Sometimes YouTube gets a bit slow and I have to go to another web page and then go back to YouTube. Does that happen for anybody else? <laughs> you mean the pause button. The good thing about this is I was hoping that because my layers aren't exactly perfectly aligned I was hoping that the paint would sort of cover those sims and I am pleased to report that it is and I can no longer see the slightly higgledy piggledy lines. Oh yeah the, the net neutrality was, yep. I wonder what that's gonna mean for everything. For me it always messes up on my phone because of the app, but my laptop is usually okay unless I have internet issues. Ah, oh, okay, cool. My water's like on this very lovely pinky grey colour. Yeah, YouTube can afford the fast lane. Hopefully, exactly. Your favourite news site is going to be screwed. Oh no. The um, net neutrality thing in the US. Yeah, where... It's specific to the US, but it will also affect uh, other places. because of course we use a lot of US uh, sites and stuff. So that might, that's probably how um, it's passed you by, just because it's not, um, it's not a UK. It's all US. But things that affect the US tend to end up affecting us as well. Yeah, we're just going to have to see what it means. <laughs> Perhaps quite as mad we'll get to use the fast line. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well then I am to only out of the loop because that's where I am to. <laughs> I would assume I wouldn't, um, no clue how I missed this. Yeah. I guess I learnt of it, of it on social media and stuff, so I guess it depends how much social media you use as to how much you would know about it. very messy in terms of just like my painting style not in terms of there being paint everywhere like I've actually kept the work area 
pretty tidy. I'm happy, but it just looks, the painting job looks a bit messy. Just on YouTube and Instagram. Yeah, I think mainly Tumblr and Twitter is where I learned about it. Sure, it will all be fine. Yep, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed. The red does look good on camera. Yay! Thank you. I think I'm going to not do the bit immediately around the silver until the silver dries. So I might just turn this around and do this bit and then that might be where I stop, I guess. Unless I have time to do the black. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I don't need to turn this around. Maybe I can do it just here. Although if I do the handle, I'll have to, yeah, I'll just turn it around. I'll turn it around. Because I'm not going to be able to turn it around very easily after. So that's what it looks like at the minute. You can sort of see the paint strokes and stuff, and there's little gaps in the paint, but uh, it'll all look better after. It always looks better after. It looked like you got a lot done, yes. Even though I haven't really, I was expecting it to get a lot, be a lot quicker. Just I'm, I'm, <laughs> I was expecting it to be, uh, I'm gonna need to be real careful around these edges and that's gonna take a bit of time. Yes, I'll have to look at that the link as well later as well. I'm so happy that the chat stays now after the end of the video. Because I was watching a bit back of my last crafting live stream because I wanted to know what I couldn't remember what I'd done with the table so that people could actually see what I was doing. So I was watching it so that I could see what I'd done. Um, and I've ended up not exactly doing the same thing, but never mind. But it was so useful to have the chat next to me because um, we were talking about recommendations and stuff and it was really useful to just have them there. Whereas before, I had to write everything down. <laughs> before it disappeared off the screen, so it's a lot better now. Right, I'm going to do this bit here and then we'll see whether I get to the black. It might be better not to get to the black to be honest because the black gets close to the silver and if I'm waiting until the silver dries it's probably better to wait to do the black. Yeah, it's such an improvement having a chat there, exactly. Whoops. Got a bit too much paint there, but it dripped onto the pickaxe, so it's all good. This paint doesn't smell that great. <laughs> oh, it looks like I'm going to just about use this red, which is good. Don't like wasting paint, and I've wasted all of this silver. Maybe I could do another quick coat. We'll see. I mean, at least I have like a whole thing of silver, whereas I only have a little, a little um, tube of red. I'm gonna have to keep this tube out, or I won't be able to find it again. I've done that before. I've been like using a very specific colour, and then I've just put it back in the the large suitcase and then just been afterwards like well, I'd have no idea what colour it was. The tune from the last last stream was really good I thought in the film. Thank you! Yes it was meant to be a track for mouth moments but as is often the case when I am 
making something, I end up, I end up making something completely different. So it's quite amazing that we have a pickaxe here and not like a weird sword or something. But yeah, thank you. It was fun to uh, compose in a live stream. If anybody has any thoughts on other fun things that we can do in live streams, let me know. Because I feel like generally my cosplay projects are quite fun to do in the live streams. They seem to fit quite well. But if there's anything else, I am open to suggestions. I think I'm going to stop about here. I might do this edge since I couldn't see it the other side. Just get rid of this paint. I'll definitely have to do another coat of the edges at the very least. But I'll probably do a top another coat of the whole thing, even before I decide whether I'm going to be spray painting it. Play a board game? I'm not sure how that would work other than be snakes and ladders or something. Yeah, it's um, something to think about, I guess. to see what other people do and see if there's anything that I like the look of. I'm sure, I've come, I'm sure there'll be another craft project soon which will work well on uh, stream. Well, I haven't been working so much on cosplay recently, I've noticed. Sort of taken a bit of a back seat. Although I am... Um, oh! I ordered my... Doctor Who, my 13th Doctor wig uh, this week because it was on sale for um, two quid, like two pounds. Normally 15, 14 quid, it's already a cheap wig, but it was on sale for two pounds. So anyway, that's arriving soon. So I could in theory cut it and um, paint it on stream because I'm. it's the same wig that I use for my Tonks cosplay, except it's blonde instead of pink. So I was just going to cut it in the same way that I cut her wig because her hair is pretty similar to other doctors. Um, so that is a potential future crafting stream wig work. 13th Doctor, yay! Yep, I am so looking forward to the new series of Doctor Who and to my cosplay of it, although I have yet to find the coat or the trousers I have I have the t-shirt and I have the boots, I don't have the socks. I have the braces, I have the yellow braces, the suspenders, but yeah, I can't find the coat or the trousers. Two quid wig, I know, ridiculous, it's, it's like real cheap, it's not like a lace front or something, it's just like cheap party wig, but the Tonks one, that one I was really impressed with, so I've just got the same thing and I'm just gonna... Um, it's a long wavy one but for the Tonks one I just cut it short so it was like here and because the doctor's hair is that I just thought I'd do the same thing maybe make it slightly longer I watched her doing a lot of interviews so I'm hyped yep me too I can't wait for the new series I can't wait and she wears a little um, a little bum bag as well a little black bum bag so I'm looking out for one of them as well <laughs> but yeah I only have the uh, suspenders, the t-shirt, the actual t-shirt though, I got the screen accurate t-shirt and the wig soon. The Tonks one looked good, you didn't look like you at all in that wig. Thank you, I was I was pretty happy with how the Tonks wig worked out and I, um, I still wear the t-shirt that I made for the Tonks cosplay, the Weird Sisters one, so I always like a cosplay when you get to wear it afterwards, just in like your day-to-day -day life. It feels like it's worth the effort and the um, money when you get a lot of worth out of 
uh, your cosplay. Which is why I'm looking forward to the uh, Lara Croft one, because I've been wearing her trousers, the trousers that I got for her, so much. So much! I love to test the Devon Rose and Cranford, so very excited for this, and I still need to rewatch slash watch Broadchurch. Yeah, she is a great actress. I am very much looking forward uh, to um, seeing her. What else have I loved her in? Can't remember, actually. I think Broadchurch is the thing I've seen her in most recently. <laughs> you must wear the doctor's braces for normal wear afterwards. Yeah, that might be the one element of the cosplay that doesn't get as much use. Oh, I've got little bits of red paint all over my hands. Can you see? Little bits of red paint from the edge. From the edge. I'll get another bit of kitchen roll, just in case there's any residue. But I think that's gone well. Workers' hands. As soon as this stream ends, I'm gonna uh, clear up all this paint and these paint brushes because otherwise it'll all just congeal and be yucky. And we're gonna have to move this because I need this table. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to put this somewhere else. It looks good from here. Yay! Thank you. Problem is I can't lift it now to show you like the finished result. Um, but there it is. Oh, actually, I might be able to. Can sort of. There it is. That's about as good as I can do, I think. So I've still got to do the top bit in red once that silver paint dries. And I've got to do the black handle where my hand is. And then there's also a little grey bit uh, inside the handle, which I've got to do. But I think I'm definitely going to need to do those another day once the paint that's currently on is dried. You can see it fine, yay! Cool, I think that's gone well. Painting on live stream wasn't as terrifying as I thought it could be. We had no catastrophes. But yeah, if there's anything you want me to talk about for a couple of minutes before we, uh, before we sign off. I'm not sure when my next live stream on YouTube will be yet, unfortunately. It'll probably be maybe the second week of Wimbledon or straight after Wimbledon. So that's July 2nd or 3rd week of July. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited for Wimbledon. You did well. Thank you. Thank you, Carolyn. It's been fun. Yeah, it has been fun. Yeah, thank you all for joining me. It's been good to talk to you and to... Um, get to work on the pickaxe again because apparently I don't work on the pickaxe when I'm not live streaming it. <laughs> Which isn't great, that's not great for my productivity if I have to do a live stream every time I want to work on the, pick the pickaxe. These hour streams fly by, yeah they do! I think it's because I got used to um, the two three hour ones on Twitch, they, the hour ones seem so short now. Whereas before, it was like, oh, an hour, how am I going to fill an hour? And uh, now it's, oh no, I, it's like, it's already an hour. It's already been half an hour. It's already been an hour. What's my next book review? Ooh, it is um, the book that I'm reading now. Oh, The Woman in White, which I'm hoping the book review should be up on Tuesday. But I'm only 200 pages into 700 pages, so I'm going to have to get a move on reading that book. But my plan is to um, film the review on Sunday or Monday, and then for it to be up on Tuesday. So look out for that. Hopefully it will be on Tuesday. If it's not, then you will know that I have completely failed at reading the last 500 pages in um, <laughs> this week. But uh, it's a good book so far. I'm enjoying it. And I thought it was good to read it immediately after the uh, TV you know, immediately after the TV series. So, yeah, that will be my next book review. And then I haven't decided what I'll be reviewing after that, but I will have decided by the end of this week. It's been fun to watch and chat. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Speed reading, yeah, like a hundred pages a day or something. Although, to be fair, I did read a hundred pages of it yesterday. I was... and it only took a couple of hours. One of my favourite classics, Enjoy. I, yeah, I, I am enjoying it so far. I wasn't sure what I was going to think of it, but uh, yeah, I enjoyed it uh, so far. So, 
I hope to continue to. And my next classic, I think, is going to be Vanity Fair, but I'm hoping to read like a modern novel before that. I just haven't decided what, because um, I like to alternate. But yeah, that'll be my next book review, and it should hopefully be next Tuesday, <laughs> um, if I don't have uh, trouble reading the last 500 pages. <laughs> Anyway, I am going to sign off now. Uh, thanks everybody for joining me today. It's been really great, as always. Um, I look forward to our next uh, live stream in the future in maybe three, four, five weeks. We'll see, I guess, uh, how things work out. Because uh, I watch a lot of Wimbledon when Wimbledon is on, is on and I'm worried I'm going to um, have a clash <laughs> between Wimbledon and live streams. So we'll see how it goes nearer the time as to when my next live stream is. But um, thanks again, it's been nice to talk to you all. Yes, it's, yes, it's been great. And uh, yeah, I'll be uh, my next, I'll be live streaming on Twitch on Thursday if you want to see me some playing some Dragon Age. But uh, otherwise, I will be, um, I will have a video up here on Friday or Sunday, depending on when I make mouse moments um, this week. And then I will have, all being well, my next book review up on Tuesday. So those will be my next videos here on YouTube. Don't clash with your Wimbledons, I know, exactly. <laughs> I have my priorities, I can't miss Wimbledon. But in theory, if it's the second week of Wimbledon, uh, it's only like the top 16 and then the quarterfinals and semi-finals and finals. So the days are shorter in the second week of Wimbledon. So I'm thinking like that would be a good opportunity to have a live stream in the evening. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. If if I have a bit of a clash or something, I'll probably make it the week after. But I'm hoping, because I had a bit longer than I would like between live streams between this and the one before. So I want to, I really want to be more regular with my YouTube live streams. Now that I am using uh, Twitch to live stream as well, I want to um, capitalise on my... Um, but it's just easier to live stream the more you live stream because you know the setup and uh, just talking for an extended period and it's just easier to live stream the more you live stream so I really want to capitalize on my twitch to make my YouTube live streams more um, regular and I guess interesting uh, thanks for doing these thank you thank you so much for coming uh, yes I do like I do like these live streams Anyway, yes, I should really go. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoy... The Twitch ones are so much fun too. Thank you, I really enjoy the Twitch ones and I enjoy the gaming as well. Because uh, it's pretty much the only time I game now unless we count Fortnite. Uh, it's the only time I, I game now pretty much is when I'm on Twitch. So that's really fun. But yeah, so I hope you enjoy the rest of your... Uh, what day is it? Tuesday. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Tuesday and the rest of your week. And yes, I will see you again soon, uh, wherever that may be. Thank you so much for stopping by tonight. And uh, yeah, I'll speak to you again uh, very soon. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.